The Maryland Democratic Party called a press conference Tuesday in Annapolis and then called the Republican running for governor dangerous. State party chair Yvette Lewis ripped into state delegate Dan Cox from the get go. We are sounding the alarms as loud as we possibly can so that there is no mistake that this man can go nowhere near the governor's mansion. Lewis, along with two Democratic state delegates, called Cox's anti-abortion stance so extreme it's disqualifying, and then unveiled a Cox quote to prove it. Unearthed, the Dems say, from a candidate questionnaire Cox filled out during a failed 2016 congressional bid. He wanted to make it crystal clear that even when abortion is a medically necessary procedure, with life or death consequences, he would sentence a woman or a girl to death. The Cox Q&A still living online on a voting guide geared toward conservative Christians that's part of the American Family Association, which is anti-LGBTQ and is a Southern Poverty Law Center designated hate group. He intends to punish those that he disagrees with by taking away basic rights. The message here today included a warning about steps Cox could take at the State House if he wins in November. He could stack our boards and commissions that regulate that regulate health care, that regulate the practice of medicine. He has shown an intention of sending clinicians to jail. We, of course, reached out to the Cox campaign for a response, and they fielded our request, said they're checking on it, but they have yet to get back. Reporting from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.